his game four of the NBA Finals. He can long rebounds and push the ball up the floor. Inside to O'Neal and Shaq with a jam. So the Lakers, who did not lead at all on Thursday night, are up by two. Then Phil gets a technical. Detroit is up by two. And the Lakers get it into O'Neal. And again, the jam. So two jams by O'Neal. It's a designated area, and that's why they teed him up. Yeah, he did. But I think coaches do that all the time, to be honest. And uh, you have a choice as an official. Is that an automatic tech? O'Neal. And you can tell. I mean, that's going to be the Laker plan, at least of the outset tonight. Go to 34. It's a good plan. And Malone hurt. We talked about Carl through the series and the pregame show as well. Playing at about maybe 70%. Fox has been hurt. A good part of the year, a different array of injuries, and as Gary Payton finally scores in the first quarter. Why? Because double team is a guy blowing by Gary Payton. Shaquille gets it. No and double team in. again. You know, Larry Brown does not like the double team. Leading Detroit in scoring, he has seven. Bryant, who earlier was shaking his right hand a little bit. Here's Fox. Payton will drive. Softly puts it up. The Lake, the Pistons are contending. It was in the cylinder and it shouldn't count. O'Neal went up and jams it through. Bill Jackson on the other bench, of course, trying to win his 10th title. Malone takes it from O'Neal and hits. So Shaq gets the assist. Balikan muna natin na sandali ang uh, game one. Los Angeles. We predicted that they would come back in a big way to the game four, and they have in the first quarter. I think so. No, this is the most points of the Lakers. O'Neal hitting 60% in the playoffs, under 50 for the regular season, makes the first. Here's Michelle. O'Neal gets fed, gets tripled, scores anyway, and will go to the free throw line. You know what's interesting? Shaq, the last. Walton leaves it outside for George. Peyton works to O'Neal. Turned around, goes in, and Shaquille O'Neal, 17 points. So the same guys that started the first half start the second, and O'Neal starts with a dunk to tie the game. And we mentioned before, when it's starter against starter, George inside to O'Neal. Over Rashid this time, doesn't go. Battle on the boards. Lakers have it. Malone goes right back to O'Neal. A wraparound lay-in to tie it at 43. Prince stays on Bryant. Medvedenko. Well, even Medvedenko's passing up open shots. And that's going to put Bryant in a bind and have to launch a prayer. And he does. And you know, well, you know the Lakers are completely out of sync. Three games to one. The game's been close all the way. Shaq red hot early as 21. Rasheed Wallace has gotten hot late. He's their leading scorer with 16 points. Game five, for certain, is here on Tuesday. Will the series go back to L.A. for a game six on Thursday? The Lakers can cement that with a win here tonight, or Detroit can put itself in position to win the NBA title at home on Tuesday night. Wallace backs Medvedenko in and then misses, and O'Neal high in the air for his 16th rebound. Jack has not touched the ball in a while. Here he goes. Three guys on him, touched yeah. it, and scores it. I mean, you got to go to him, man. Lob into Shaquille. It was almost stolen, and Wallace says, Ah, oh, man, I almost got that one. O'Neal is one out of five tonight. Again, the Lakers tonight, only two guys in double digits. O'Neal and Bryant. Payton is six in the first quarter, but only eight in the game. And Shaquille makes two very clutch free throws. Very big free throws. O'Neal. It counts, and he's fouled. And the Lakers have it. No team has ever come back from a 3-1 deficit 
to win the finals. Kobe Bryant back in the game, almost lost control, gives it to Shaq, he scores and gets fouled. Phil may be getting there. Medvedenko. Oh, and then O'Neal is there. Medvedenko's shot wouldn't have gone in. 32 points in the fourth quarter for Detroit. O'Neal will end it with a meaningless lay-in to cap for him a 20 rebound and 36 point night. But the Pistons has, have set up a situation where they can win it and win it at home on Tuesday.